guys what is going on welcome back to another video in today's video i'm going to show you guys the method that i use to get my joker to level 15 to get 40 kills with it and to get 10 double kills with it now once you get platinum you're gonna to need to get 15 double kills but either way in this video i'm going to show you guys how to get all of that done as fast as possible but before we jump into it if you guys could do me a huge favor if you guys find this video useful in any way hit that like button and subscribe without wasting any more time let's jump into it all right, guys, so let's start building our class here. Now, this technique will work for any RPG. You don't have to use the Joker, but this is the hardest one in my opinion, so I'm going to show you guys how we're going to do it. All right, guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do is for your primary weapon, use the ride shield. I'll explain why in a minute. Next up for your tactical, make sure that you're using decoy grenades. I'll explain why in a minute as well. Now, for your lethal, you can use anything but throwing knife. Make sure you do not put throwing knife on for a lethal. Now, this is very important for your field upgrade. Make sure you're using the DDoS. That's it. Nothing else, just the DDoS. So for perk slots, your first one you're going to want to use extra tactical. It's going to give you an extra decoy. It's going to come in handy. For your second slot, it doesn't matter which one you're using. I use scavenger, but you can literally use any one for this slot. For your third slot, you're going to want to be using fast hands or resupply. You could choose which one you want. Fast hands means you reload that RPG faster, which is pretty important because sometimes you have to be quick to hit targets. So... You can either use fast hands or resupply, which just makes it so you're going to keep getting more decoys. So basically, resupply will come in handy when you're trying to get to level 15. Once you hit level 15, maybe swap over to fast hands. I just use fast hands the whole time, but that's up to you. And for your last perk slot, make sure that you're using overclock. This is going to make sure that you get your field upgrade fast, fast, fast. This is going to come in clutch to get to level 15 fast. All right, so now let's talk about the fastest way to get to level 15 with your launchers. Now, a lot of people online are saying do kill confirmed or invasion. What you're going to do is you're going to jump into ground war. Now, once you're in a ground war game, you're going to do all of these techniques, and I promise you, you're going to get to level 15 very fast. As soon as the game starts, you're going to try to get into the helicopter. If you get into the helicopter, you're going to just want to float in the air away from enemies for as long as possible. As you guys can see right here, it's literally just a way to farm XP. The only thing you have to do is make sure before you get into the helicopter, you have your launcher in your hands. If you do not have your launcher in your hands, whatever you're carrying will get the XP. So make sure you have the launcher you want to upgrade in your hands, get into a helicopter, float in the sky, and basically all your teammates are just going to keep spawning on you. Everyone that does it gives you 25 XP. Like look on my screen right here how much XP I'm getting in three minutes and sitting in the helicopter. As a matter of fact, in these three minutes, I went up one level just from sitting in this helicopter. But if you don't make it to the helicopter at the beginning of the game, it's not a big deal. All you're going to want to do is run with your team to the center of the map. At the center of the map is where both teams meet each other, right? Once you get there, you're going to want to start throwing your decoys. Do not throw all three of them at once. I see a lot of people doing this. It's very, very stupid to do this. You're going to want to throw one at a time. Basically, how decoys work, if everybody, whoever doesn't know, is whenever you throw a decoy, if your teammates get eliminations around your decoy, you're going to get XP for it. So you're going to start throwing them one at a time. When one of your decoys breaks, you throw another one. And while you're doing that, you're going to be waiting for your field upgrade to charge. Now, the reason why I told you guys to use this field upgrade, the DDoS, is because it gives you a crazy amount of XP. As you guys can see on the screen right here, your DDoS has a little meter. When that meter goes green, it means there's a lot of things around you to break, which means you're going to get a lot of XP. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, why am I wearing a ride shield, though? Number one, a ride shield obviously protects you from enemies shooting you in your back. But number two, a ride shield will actually get you XP when you get shot in your back. If for any reason an enemy shoots you in your back, it doesn't eliminate you, and then your teammate kills that enemy, you're actually going to get XP for it. And that XP will go towards whatever weapon you're carrying, which, again, make sure it's your launcher. Now, I think this goes without saying, but when you're playing ground war, make sure you're playing the objective, because that's going to give you weapon XP. As long as you're carrying that RPG in your hands, I can't stress that enough, you're going to get that XP. Now, another technique you guys can do that I never ended up doing just because I forgot about it was the score streak technique. Put on score streaks and make sure you use UAV, counter UAV, and advanced UAV. When you use those kill streaks, you'll get XP for every single time one of your teammates gets a kill. It's actually a really good technique to level up your weapons fast because when you're playing these modes, there's so many kills that are happening and it's just an XP farm, a weapon XP farm. All right, so to sum up this technique to get XP fast, this is what you're going to do. You're going to want to always look out for that helicopter. If you die, always look for it. You're going to want to make sure you're using decoy grenades to get XP. You use UAVs, counter UAVs, advanced UAVs as score streaks, not kill streaks. You're going to want to make sure that you're using your DDoS. You're going to want to make sure you're using that ride shield to get you XP. And always play the objective. 
Honestly, don't even worry about getting kills until you get to level 11. Because until you get to level 11, getting kills doesn't even do anything. But once you get to level 11, you're going to actually need to get 40 kills. So until you get to level 11, don't even worry about getting eliminations with any of your RPGs. Just worry about getting that simple XP with these techniques I showed you. But once you get to level 15 is when things start to get a little bit tricky because you're going to need to get 40 eliminations with each RPG. The good news is I have a couple techniques here on how to get eliminations very fast. The first one is at the beginning of every game, like we talked about before, in Ground War, both the teams are going to meet up in the center of the map. Now, if you have a Javelin or any RPG, you're going to want to be ready to shoot that center of the map or even further back towards their spawn right away. As you guys can see in this clip right here, right off the bat, I end up getting a four piece, which is huge. If I was doing the double kill challenge, which we're going to talk about later, that would have been two double kills right there at the beginning of the game. Now, this technique, the good thing about it is you could kind of back out of the game right after you get this first shot off. You get your kill or don't back out of the game, load into another one. I don't recommend doing that. I never did. But if you're really struggling and wasting time, like you play a whole game and can't get any eliminations... Just back out, especially when it comes to getting double kills. All right, so this next technique was really easy for me to get kills with, but it might not be for you guys. I understand that this might be really hard for you guys to get eliminations like this. But what you're going to want to do is use your javelin as like a sword. As You're going to melee attack. You're going to gun butt people with your javelin. The best way to do this is to get to their spawn, sneak your way in, hide in a corner, wait for someone to run past you, and then melee attack them. Every time you get an elimination like that, it's actually going to count towards your... Um, ja uh, your javelin slash joker kills but that's why i said make sure you're not using throwing knives because what happens if you have a throwing knife in your inventory you're actually going to stab them instead of hitting them with your javelin so it won't count towards your javelin kills because you're using your throwing knife so the next technique is rooftops it's a pretty self-explanatory one there's always going to be enemies on rooftops if you're using the joker it's extremely easy to get kills on rooftops with the joker the other rpgs not so much but either way Always look out for that rooftops. Understand that at some point throughout that ground war game, there's probably half the enemy team on a roof somewhere. So just keep that in mind when you're trying to go for these eliminations. So once you got those 40 eliminations done, it's still not over. You have to get it gold now. And to get it gold, you're going to have to get 10 double kills. The best way to get 10 double kills, in my opinion, is to get in a helicopter with your buddy. If you have a buddy that's online, just get him to get in the helicopter, float in the air, and then you're just going to sit there the whole time looking for two people on a roof. Now, if you're not using the Joker and you're using any other RPG, this helicopter technique is going to get a little bit tricky. The other RPGs kind of suck when it comes to how fast they shoot. Uh, so by the time your bullet gets down to the enemies, they're probably not going to be next to each other. That's not really going to work for double kills. One thing I don't think a lot of people are talking about is how double kills work when it comes to RPGs in this game. You don't have to actually kill two people with one rocket. You can actually kill one guy, reload your RPG, and shoot a second guy, and it'll count as a double kill. A lot of people don't really know that when it comes to RPGs, that a double kill with RPG doesn't mean you get two kills with one bullet. It actually just means two kills within like the span of 50 or 10 seconds. I actually was surprised that's how it works in Modern Warfare 2. I didn't know. But as you guys could see here in this clip, this is the proof. I get one kill right here. Reload. Get the next shot off. Get a kill. And it actually gave me my last double kill to get gold. Also, take a look at this clip. Our helicopter is about to explode. It's crashing down to the ground. I get that javelin shot off. Get the double kill. And then glide and in midair throw a throwing knife and get a kill. I definitely thought this was worth showing you guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this clip. But anyway, guys, that's going to wrap this one up. If you guys found this video useful, please do me a favor. Hit that like button and subscribe. And let me know in the comments, boys, if you guys have any question about anything. If you guys need help with anything, let me know in the comments. I'll be sure to answer it, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day. Peace out.